This lesson will show how to determine the generating function for the sequence of squares or the sequence 1, 4, 9, 16, and so on. Recall from the previous lesson, we found the generating function for the sequence 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, dot, 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 to be the quantity 1 plus x divided by the square of the quantity 1 minus x. Once we determine a generating function for a sequence, we can often use that function to determine new generating functions. Looking at the sequence of first differences, notice four minus one is three, nine minus five is four, 16 minus nine is seven, giving us the sequence three, five, seven, and so on, which does resemble the sequence one, three, five, seven, nine, dot, 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 which is why the technique of differencing is a good choice here. The next step is to write the generating series for the given sequence as an equation. We write a equals one plus four x plus nine x squared plus 16x cubed plus dot, dot, dot. Again, this is a generating series for the given sequence. And now let's look at the notes in the upper right hand corner. If we take the given sequence and subtract the sequence 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, dot, 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 term by term, we have one minus zero, which is one, four minus one, which is three, nine minus four, which is five, 16 minus nine, which is seven, and so on. And notice this sequence is the exact sequence we know the generating function for from the previous lesson. Also, if we know the generating series for 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on, which is equal to A, then the generating series for 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, dot, 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 would be X times A, which on the right side of the equation gives us X times one, which is X. Notice how we no longer have a constant term, or we can say the constant term is zero. We can also say, we shift the right side to the right, which is why this is called the multiply shift and subtract method. And then we'd have plus x times four x, which gives plus four x squared, and then plus x times nine x squared, which gives plus nine x cubed, and so on. And now we subtract the two equations. On the left, we have a minus x a. If we factor out the a, we have the quantity one minus x times a. On the right as expected, we have the generating series for the sequence one, three, five, seven, nine, dot, dot, dot. Or more specifically, subtracting, we have one minus zero, which is one, and then plus four x minus x, which gives us plus three x, and then plus nine x squared minus four x squared, which gives plus five x squared, and so on. From here, because we know the generating function for the series on the right, we can perform a substitution. Again, we know that one plus three x plus five x squared plus seven x cubed plus dot 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 is equal to the generating function one plus x divided by the square of the quantity one minus x. Performing the substitution, we now have the equation one minus x times a equals the quantity one plus x divided by the square of the quantity one minus x. The last step to find the generating function for the given sequence is to solve for a. We do this by multiplying both sides of the equation by one divided by the quantity one minus x. On the right, when we multiply, the final result is a equals the quantity one plus x divided by the cube of the quantity one minus x. I hope you found this helpful.